Actually, I prefer this. The way you uh, use the insertion direction directly have effect on how does uh, the blue cuts going on, and you have offset and a smoothing. And in case that I want to show you what happened. In case that I increase the offset to a big number, you will see the change. And the big relief means that the loose teeth look, it's so far and it has very gap, very big gap. And what if I do the smoothing? Look this indentations and look what happened in case that I increase the smoothing okay look everything looks soft and you don't have the proper contours so I'm going with default okay it's good and actually here we have undercut in case that I allow undercut to more number bigger number it will go inside the undercuts it means more retention and in the same time it means that uh, we have problem with taking things off so I prefer to point one and the angle zero and update so depend on your needs maybe sometime you need more attention you will use undercuts as your weapon and maybe you use no undercut and In this case, I'm going to increase the surface of my prosthesis to adjacent teeth. Actually, it gives you some kind of uh, food impaction area. So, as I told you before, this is just for temporary, for a small limited time, not for long time. And in long time, it can be tremendously dangerous in terms of caries or periodontal problems so we should take care of this hygiene and ask patient not to use it much more than it needed I make it a little bit thinner but uh, not so much thin because in case that you make it so much thin it will be f get fragile and will be break easily okay now it says uh, how much undercut under 
the teeth and the tooth pocket gap because I want to have this uh, as one unit I prefer not to have any gap and I don't want to block out it and then uh, under this minimum thickness by 0.5 is good okay now as you can see there is no gap between the T's and the base but in case that I want to uh, have T's separate, separately printed and the base separately printed I can do this and as you can see there is a gap between teeth and the basal part uh, this makes uh, more beautiful results but of course complicated process because you have two pieces you should glue them together with the base denture resin and as you can see there is there is a gap and there is a teeth so you will use two pieces for this process thank you everyone I hope you all enjoyed this lesson and I hope you this you use this procedure with caution because as I told you the periodontal problems and the caries are uh, the results of long-term use of this kind of partials and it's not uh, working properly